And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to make the marinade for the turkey. So what do we need for the marinade of the turkey? This is the turkey that you tasted at Happy Cooking, okay? So we're gonna use some Chardonnay white wine. We gotta get the turkey drunk somehow. Okay, we're gonna get some uh, organic raspberry or, or strawberry jam, that works just perfect. And then we're gonna use some garlic, great for anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antifungal. Sea salt, this is what we're gonna use the marinade so it'll actually concentrate, that will soak up the juices in there. And then we're gonna use the apples. Now, number one, to do the apples, I'm gonna show you how you do that. Remember how we, we taught you at the class? You take a little paring knife, you making little triangles, and go all the way to the core. The important thing is that the actual paring knife, you can feel it that it's actually touching the core. Okay, let's go all the way. And I prefer to use gala apples that are a little bit more juicy, and um, also they actually stayed intact so if you wanna serve it afterwards or just put it in there as a decoration, it'll look pretty. So give it a little turn like this and separate it and this is what you end up with. So this is gonna go on the inside of the turkey. So we're gonna put well, just one of those. Then we're gonna take the garlic and then we're gonna take about 20 uh, cloves of garlic already peeled, okay? So what we wanna do is if you're using a 20 pound turkey, I like to use about 20 garlic cloves. Okay, so you put them all on your hand, and then just with the Salamaster machine, using the number one cone. So the number one is actually, it's in actually on each of the cones in here. So this is the Salamaster machine that we were demonstrating at the uh, Happy Cooking Longevity Cooking class. They put all the cloves already peeled in your hand, and then just press with the palm of your hand. So in that way you get a really nice minced, Otherwise, you can actually use a garlic presser, but of course, it's gonna take a little bit longer. I've used those things before, and it takes me forever. So this will cut your time by about 75% if you do it this way, okay? So now we have all the garlics already, already minced, of course. If you have people at home, they can, have you, they, they can help you do this part, okay? So now I take the garlic, and then I'm gonna take a couple of rosemary sprigs. So I like to take a two of them, just like so. And then I'm gonna take some of the garlic. So what we'll do is we're gonna take the garlic and we're gonna put it on the inside of the turkey. So just leave it in there. So it'll actually, when it's cooking, it'll actually steam up to the meat. And so remember that when we're eating any type of meat, there's always it's gonna create some sort of inflammation in the body, so we wanna make sure that we have something anti-inflammatory, and that's what garlic is good for. It's also great uh, loaded with omega-3s as well. So just rub it into the turkey. And then you take your, your rosemary sprigs, maybe let's take uh, one extra, and put it on the inside also. And then I'm gonna take the apples and put it on the inside of the turkey as well. So I want you to start looking at what I'm doing. Okay, so that's gonna look like that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna take a big pan like this, so you can actually do it on the 16 quart. In fact, I prefer to do it on the 16 quart, so I just leave it already covered. So this is something you can do overnight. You can put it the night before and then put it in the fridge in the big 16 quart and cover it, and then the next morning you take it out and then three hours before you serve or four hours before you serve, you start uh, breaking the turkey on the top of the stove if you're gonna do it on the top of the stove or if you're gonna use the uh, oven roaster, you can do the same thing in the oven roaster or if you're just gonna use the oval bake dish like this one right here, that won't work as well but it's not gonna be as tender, it's as moist as what you tested here. Okay, so let's take the wine uh, and put a little bit at the bottom and I'm gonna use one cup first. Okay, one cup of the wine. Then I'm gonna take the sea salt. I'm gonna use half a cup of the sea salt and that's my brine right now. So mix it really good. Then I'm gonna take some of the rosemary and I'm gonna chop it up. So to get the rosemary off the sprig, just take the little sprig like this and then pull it down. And then take the other one, pull it down as well. Anything that's left over on the top, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to chop it up and then just chop your rosemary fine. Just move your fingers out so make sure that nothing gets caught in there, okay? So just chop it up nice and small. 
Okay, and now you take this rosemary and add it to the wine. Okay, so we mix it up nicely. You can take a spoon or take whatever. And now we're gonna do is we're gonna take the turkey and we're going to put it inside. So first at the bottom, then we're gonna soak it up, just like so. And then, of course, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the open it. Get somebody to open it for you. See, that's why you need your husbands there. Okay, let's get this. And uh, if you stick a spoon in there. Okay, this is sandbag stuff. Okay, Put sandbag stuff, out. Jeremy. I'm not her husband. And uh, he's not a spoon either. <laughs> So, uh, what we do is, so you keep it uh, first on the breast side down, then we're going to flip it over. So you notice how some of the rosemary is in there. Then take the raspberry or peach or orange, any marmalade of jam that you want as long as it's organic. So put it on the top of the bird. And this is a happy bird. Oh, wow, you're loving it. You're enjoying this delicious raspberry all around you. Now, this is a turkey spa. Okay, the turkey's on the spa. Get it itself ready. So, then we flip it to the other side. And now what I would do is I would put it in the 16 quart and leave it covered. If you don't have a 16 quart, then you can just use a bowl like this. I prefer the 16 core because it's a 316 TI and it is non chemical reactive. And then put the turkey in there. Put the put the marinade with the with with the jam. Put some on the inside as well. And then if you like to eat the gizzards and the neck and all that stuff, then let it marinate too as well. There'll be somebody who will want to eat it. Put the rest of the jam, cover it, and put it in your refrigerator overnight, okay? That's all you have to do in terms of the marinating the turkey. So in a moment, we'll be right back and we're going to show you how to actually brown the turkey and cook it on the top of the stove in three hours.